Hello friends and welcome back. I know I have been missing in action for a minute and believe me, I am trying to get back onto the bandwagon, so to speak. However, I know that uh, Valentine's Day is just around the corner and today I am going to be making for you a red velvet layered cake. So guys, let's get started so here are all of my ingredients and we are going to get started from the left and make our way to the right so today we're going to be using uh, the electric stand mixer with the paddle attachment and here is my flour here is my oil and my butter and over here is my sugar and in this bowl is where I'm going to be mixing all of my dry ingredients. And as you can see, I have my pans back there. And I also have my Baker's Joy spray that I'm going to be spraying them with. So we're going to be doing that as we are creaming or butter, oil and sugar. All right, so we're going to move to the right and you can see i have the remaining of my dry ingredients my cocoa powder my baking soda salt and baking powder back there i have three eggs i have my vanilla extract and my red food color here i have my buttermilk and here i have my white vinegar so we're going to get started by mixing up all of the dry ingredients and then we're going to set that to the side. So we're going to set this to the side and now we are going to add our oil, butter and sugar to the electric stand mixer and we're going to cream that together until that becomes very creamy for about four minutes. All right, so we're going to cream this on medium high and FYI, make sure guys to preheat your oven at 350 degrees. And also make sure that your eggs, your butter, your buttermilk, cream cheese are all uh, room temperature. So you want to also make sure to scrape the sides of the bowl. So now we're going to add our eggs one at a time, beating well after each, but you don't want to overbeat them. So now we're going to add our vanilla extract and our fruit red food color. Yeah. 
So now I'm going to re remove this from the stand and I'm going to be adding my dry ingredients to the wet. And you want to start with the dry ingredients and end with your dry ingredients. So we're going to do the add the flour first and then buttermilk, then the flour, then the buttermilk and end with the flour. But before I do that, we're going to add our white vanilla, I'm sorry, white vinegar to our buttermilk. And we're going to give that a mix. Okay, so now we have our buttermilk with the white vinegar and we have our flour mixture. This is what the texture looks like. And this is what it looks like. We're all done. So we're just going to pour this into our pans and try to get it evenly, if possible. So I pretty much I boil the amount, but you can always measure, you know, put it on a scale, you know, to be more exact. And you also want to tap them to get rid of any air bubbles. So here they are, I just took them out of the oven and I'm going to be turning them out onto a wire rack so they can cool completely. And then we're going to move on to our cream cheese uh, glaze. All right, so our cakes are completely cooled and ready for the frosting. And as you can see, I have my powdered sugar in this bowl. Here I have some vanilla extract, my uh, unsalted butter at room temperature, and my cream cheese. And I'm going to be using my electric stand mixer to mix my frosting. And I'm going to add my butter first and let that cream for about three minutes on medium high. Then I'm going to add my powdered sugar in thirds. Then I'm going to add, when all my powdered sugar are completely mixed, then I'm going to add my cream cheese and then my vanilla extract. And FYI guys, make sure to sieve your powdered sugar, otherwise your frosting is going to be very lumpy.
So this is what it looks like. It's all done. It, it's so yummy, guys. So delicious. over the top Goodness. Mm. That was a little struggle, but look at that. Look at that, guys. Oh, look at that. Oh, this is melt in your mouth. Goodness. Perfection. Thank you guys. I'll see you in the next video. It is heavy. Guys, the color. It is gorgeous. Beautiful, delicious.